Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a love reading and we're finding out how does your person feel about you. So we're looking at what are they thinking, what are they feeling and what actions are they likely to take towards you as well. Okay, right, so what's going on with the person that our collective is thinking of at this point in time? Can we have their, their mind, their heart and their actions, please? For our... Oh... Okay, five of coins. It's coming out in their headspace, the five of coins. Um, this is someone that you've probably not spoken to for a for a hot minute here, with the five of coins coming out in their headspace. Um, because they're they're saying that you're ignoring them or you have ignored them. Four of Wands and the Three of Coins. Okay, this is telling me that this is somebody that you've already moved on from here, Collective. Okay, that this person is heavily thinking of you, thinking of ways on, on how they can make a resurgence, on how they can make things right, on how they can make contact with you as well. How, how can this silence, how can this coldness be broken? Okay, this individual as well, with that four of wands being there, um, they they could be thinking that, that you're their twin flame, something like that. If that's not saying that, that you moved on to someone else, like you married someone else, committed to someone else, um, then that could be saying that they are thinking in their head that, that you and them, you're your twin flame counterparts, okay? What's in their heart space towards our collective, please? What's, thank you. The Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Interesting. Um, so it's indicating that they're certainly done thinking, okay? So they, they were thinking on a plan. They have successfully thought of a plan. They're no longer thinking about doing it. And I feel strongly that they are going to start taking action on their plan towards you, okay? The Eight of Swords in reverse. That's freedom. It's liberation. It's someone no longer stuck in their head. Someone no longer confused, okay? So they're definitely not confused about how they feel towards you. They're certain on how they feel towards you, which is a really good starting point. Yeah, the Ace of Swords mm -hmm, and the Moon. So, yeah, they're, they're going to be revealing their feelings to you here, Collective. Okay, definitely expect a message off of this person. Okay, definitely expect them to reach out to you. I'm sensing that they're going to be very vulnerable to you as well. Uh, for the longest time, they might have kept their feelings, because, again, this is in their heart space. For the longest time, they've kept their feelings hidden, with that being the Moon. But also the Ace of Swords. It's truth, clarity, revelation and breakthrough. Um, it's that communication. And it's truthful communication. So they're definitely going to be shining light on quite a lot for you. Okay, what actions will they take towards our collective, please? Oh, that's interesting. The High Priestess. So they are listening to their intuition. They're probably... Um, they're probably following through with some kind of spiritual advice, spiritual guidance. Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the Tower. Yeah, um, so they, they have been through a Tower moment. Um, and the fact that you're receiving this confessional, that this love confessional, that is going to be a Tower moment for you. Okay, I do feel that that's going to be quite unexpected even though a part of you deep deep down was always kind of expecting that at some point they would do that um but then because they were so quiet in the physical maybe you thought that you were just being paranoid about this particular connection okay but then when they actually say the words or they type the words and you you're reading it it's come from them and that's going to be your tower moment okay that that shock Energy at the bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. So possible that there were more people involved with this particular situation. Okay, Four of Swords underneath that one. So this person has had a lot of time to reflect here. Ooh, the Shadow side. Okay, the Two of Cups and the Star. 
with the six of coins. Yeah, probably this person was dealing with a karmic, okay, the devil with the two of cups and the star. And they, they've seen the light on that particular connection or that relationship. They, they've seen the light on that. Um, they, they were connecting to an individual who was very controlling, very domineering. Um, some, somebody was obsessed with your person here and they, they went along with that. Okay, so they they weren't thinking clearly that they, they weren't being wise at all. Um, the fact that they fell in with that karmic, that toxic individual, they they just it's like they couldn't help themselves. Do you know what I mean? But I mean you you've got the star here, which is beautiful because that is saying that, that your person, whoever this is in this read, is following their true calling now. That they, they are listening to their desires, but they're also following their heart and they're heading in the right direction now. Okay, and then the six of coins underneath that one. That's like um, justice, but to a slightly lesser degree. Okay. They are wanting to give to you. They want to make things fair, right, balanced and equal. I definitely feel that you're going to be receiving an apology from this person as well. I'm feeling that this individual maybe treated you really quite badly. Okay. In favor of taking someone else's side, especially with that five of swords being there. All right. It's competition. And they, they've reevaluated on that. They, they have done deep, deep soul searching. I'm not seeing the hermit, but I'm definitely feeling that hermit energy. Okay. What's going on here, please, for our collective? Can you tell us more about the five of coins? For our collective's person headspace. This person misses you. Tell us about the five. Thank you. Five of coins. Yeah, nine of wands. You had to put up boundaries with this person. So they definitely did something that was quite disrespectful here. And that's why you had to cut things off with them. Okay, definitely. Can you tell us about the four of wands? Thank you. The king of coins. Okay. Um, yeah, so in that particular context, it, it is telling me loud and strong the the chances are quite high that most of you got together with a brand new person after having your dealings with whoever this is and you read okay so you have moved on from them basically you moved on you settled you're happy content tell us about the three okay thank you the seven of wands yeah um their environment is not peaceful at all, okay? It's definitely full of a lot of arguments. I'm seeing with that combination that your name has come up in arguments between this person and whoever their karmic is. They've definitely been arguing about you. So their karmic is in direct competition with you. But your refusal to participate in this drama is exactly the reason why it's come in full circle. So you're definitely getting some kind of closure from this person here. Okay, definitely. Clarify the Eight of Swords in reverse for their heart space. Thank you. Yeah, I see. Five of Wands. The energy doesn't lie. People lie, the energy doesn't. I'm always saying that. Okay. Um, eight of Swords clarified, excuse me, your Eight of Swords in reverse clarified with the Five of Wands. So if this person did choose a karmic person's side over yours, then they're definitely regretting that now. Okay, the, the mask has slipped. Okay, that they have seen beyond whatever nasty little illusion that that other person was was presenting okay that they've seen they've seen things clearly all right um 
their life, as, as I've said, it, it isn't peaceful at all. It's a really chaotic environment um, that they're not settled at all. And they, they've got it in their heads here that life would be a lot easier if they could come back to you. Right, so ho however you feel about this, that's going to be personal unto yourself, okay? Some of you are going to be riled up and annoyed about this, and others of you could be quite happy and relieved that this person wants to come back, okay? Just be mindful that they could be bringing some kind of baggage with them, though, as well, especially given the environment that, they've, that they're in. Can you clarify the Ace of Swords for our collective person's heart space, please? Clarify the Ace of Swords. They definitely want to tell you the truth about something here. They caught their karmic doing something and they want to tell you. Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, Six of Coins again, Queen of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, the, this person... Um, they're saying that they're still in love with you here, Queen of Cups and the Empress. They definitely want to try and grow something with you. Okay, that they're wanting to give to you equally. So you probably gave to this person and never received anything back. Well, now they're saying that they're wanting to to repay your kindness. Okay, they're definitely going to try and make you happy as well with the nine of cups see with that eight of wands that's really fast movement really fast so it's like in their heart they're saying i will be happy when i'm back together with my person and you're their person and they're saying that they're going to do everything that they can to try and put things right as well. Okay. Can you clarify the moon for this person's heart space, please? Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Eight of Swords in reverse again, and the Two of Cups also landed in the reverse position. So in their heart... They know that they need to cut ties here. Okay, Eight of Swords reversed, Two of Cups reversed. They need to break things off with someone, with their karmic right there, the shadow side. Okay. This person definitely is still obsessed over you, or obsessed with you. But again, that's triggered a lot of anger and competition from the karmic individual. Okay, they're, they're saying in my heart, I, I need to break up with my karmic. I need to cut ties with them. I need to break up with them. Two of cups reversed. It's like they, they know that that's the sensible thing to do now. Clarify the high priestess in their actions towards our collective, please. Thank you. The page of coins. Yeah, a peace offering. An olive branch offering out that olive branch they've probably tried to um send you some kind of positive energy here before they actually physically contact you okay because that there's a lot of that th there's a lot of movement here energetically as in non-physical can you tell us more about this, please, for our collective? High Priestess with the page. Thank you. Another page, a page of wands and the fool. Yeah. So that's like, obviously, it's taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. And then you've got flirty, optimistic, um, a lot of curious energy. So this person's definitely curious about what you're getting up to these days, how you're doing, how you're getting on. They're probably, they probably are watching you as well from a distance, I feel. They are taking a huge risk. There's definitely something about their karmic that I'm hearing is quite um, vicious. Their karmic person's vicious. They tend to have a lot of um, emotional outbursts. 
Okay, the moon with the tower, that's, that's an emotional outburst. So their karmic is very emotionally unstable. Very. Clarify the Ace of Cups for this person's actions towards our collective, please. Yeah, look, the Devil's coming out again and the Nine of Swords. Devil with the Nine of Swords. So the Devil comes out with the Nightmare card. I would say that this person has been dreaming of you. They've been seeing you in their dreams, but then it's like, they've also, I'm hearing they've shouted out your name when they saw you in a dream and their karmic heard. Their karmic heard that. And it caused a huge, huge blow up between them. A huge argument between them. Devil with the Nine of Swords, that's never a nice combination. Okay, like, I mean, you, you can see, you can see what that energy is all about for yourself. Okay. This one, I feel, with this combination, they're saying, I've never stopped loving you. Clarify the tower for their actions towards our collective, please. They're definitely um, trying to do everything that they can to break free from the control of a very karmic, explosive individual. Strength in reverse, with the Three of Cups in reverse. So that would be a coward. And then the Three of Cups in reverse is nasty gossip. I feel that this individual is going to be apologizing to you for, for being a coward. For not standing up to this karmic person before now. And for partaking in, and almost in a lot of ways as well, actually encouraging some kind of nasty gossip that was going on about you as well. Okay. So this person, I feel, is actually going to be completely vulnerable with you and tell you, everything and this is coming out in the spread because when they come in you might immediately think that this person is bullshitting you okay because the story that they come back at you with and what they start telling you i'm hearing it sounds really fantastical and unbelievable and it's going to feel like they are making up a lot of excuses to try and uh, excuse their own behavior and their own decisions. They're actually telling you the truth as well. There may or may not have been drugs involved with this, with this karmic. Again, only you'll know if that part of the message is actually for you. Okay. For some of you, with the devil coming out here twice. This person, at one point, they were addicted to some kind of mind-altering substance. And when they were on a high, they associated that high with the karmic person. Which is why they felt so obsessed with the karmic person. Because of that association. Because they, they were doing this mind-altering thing together. And that was the exact plan of the karmic. The karmic knew. The karmic knew enough about whatever this substance is or was. They knew enough to do that. That the association would be made. Because remember, the karmic individual is absolutely obsessed with whoever this person is that's come out and you read. And they were determined to do absolutely anything and everything to keep that person in their life. Come what may. Come what may. The person that's coming out in this read is wanting to free themselves from this toxic devil energy. 
They want to free themselves from whatever this mind-altering substance is or was. They're finally seeing the light. They're seeing the truth of the situation for what it actually is. This is someone who still has enough self-awareness to actually climb out of this really awful hole that they have found themselves stuck in. Yeah. You get death energy at the bottom of the deck. Liberation. Everything that I have just said about this person wanting to free themselves has literally just been clarified with that energy being at the bottom of the deck. Change, transformation, metamorphosis, but it's also liberation. Ten of Wands. Emperor. Two of Wands, three of Coins. They are determined to liberate themselves from this burden. I'm hearing that you haunt them. Your memory haunts this person. What they did to you, what they put you through, haunts this person. And they're going to do everything that they can in their power to try and take back control of their own life. Because they are positive that you two belong together. What else can you tell us for our collective, please? What else can you tell us for our collective? Thank you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Told you. Absolutely full of regrets. The timing just wasn't right for us. So many things remind me of you. I wish I could share my good news with you. And I love you unconditionally. Told you. Told you. And when they tell you this, that in of itself is going to be your tower moment. It's going to be very unexpected because of the person that this message comes from. Very unexpected. So you could be dealing with, but you don't have to be dealing with, a Scorpio, a Capricorn, a Cancerian, an Aries, a Taurus. I mean, you, you've got all the signs out here, but like, oh yeah, Aquarius as well. So dominant signs, Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio. Okay. You could be any of those signs. You could be dealing with those signs. This person could be one of those signs. Again, just take it as it resonates, okay? The the zodiac information, it, it, it's not going to be meaningful to absolutely everybody, okay? I'm starting to understand our connection. What was that I said about Twin Flame? Because mine, that was in their headspace. But the position of that, it was coming from a person that you hadn't spoken to. With the five of coins. Yeah. And why else would the three of coins have been there? In their headspace. Well, that's clearly someone trying to think of a plan. On how they can get back together. With you. Because they genuinely think. Or feel. That you're their twin flame counterpart. Genuinely. They're starting to understand your connection. Okay. Okay. Right, so that is what I have for you. If that reading resonated for you, then can you please let me know by dropping a cheeky wee like on the video. That'll help keep you engaged with the channel, but it'll also help to push the message out to other people who are needing to hear the messages as well, okay? Uh, personal readings, they are available on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.